My rotor blades are now dry and taking them off of the tube is relatively easy. You just unwind it like a, a mummy. Just be careful when you're doing this that you don't catch an edge or you will break a blade. Ask me how I know. <laughs> I've done it. Um, so now the uh, blades are off. And I'll take off the tape. You can see the blades, they just fall off rather easily. And they are beautifully curved. And I'm liking them. Um, so now I'll go ahead and do the other set and then I can go ahead and build the rocket. These are the pieces here that are going to create the hub. Um, I thought I'd go over them real quick. Um, this piece right here with the small hole in the middle and the three bigger ones is the actual hub. Um, these two that are like spoke wheels, those go in the shoulder of the nose cone. These are the support arms, kind of like the, uh, I sometimes I call them uh, blade posts. Uh, that's where the rotor blades will be attached. Um, and then we have two small discs. Um, one's a spare in case you lose it because they are kind of small pieces. Um, these will go on the aluminum tube that goes through the the hub piece. And then these four little rectangles are, um, I call them um, hub stiffeners because they, they, because this piece is so big, it has a tendency to flex. And so these little rectangles will stiffen them up. Um, I wanna start with the hub piece itself. Um, you can start removing all the pieces, uh, but this is the one that we're going to concentrate on. To remove them, um, you just take take your hobby knife and you cut through the little tab, and then they should fall out. Um, on the back side, you can also score it along the line. Sometimes the laser hits a piece of dense, denser wood, and it doesn't go through. Um, so you can cut them out from the back side as well. Um, so let me try to get this hub piece out here for you. And all these little holes, you can pop those out too. Those will be discarded. And you can take the uh, little graphite rod and you can help push out the little ones in the middle. All right, so that one's out. Then I want to take the tubes. Oh, and it just rolled off the front end. So I got to pause here, and I'll be right back after I pick that one up. Okay, I'm back. I got my little tube. Um, there's two tubes that are in the kit. There's a skinny one and a fatter one, and you can tell pretty quick which one you have. Um, the fat one is going to be snug inside of this hole here. But we want to get it to go through just like that. So once you get it through, then pull it right back out because we have to cut it. And to cut it, um, I want to cut off um, about one quarter inch of tube. So this side here is one quarter inch. Um, and so I'm going to take my hobby knife and I want to use the heel of the blade and I want to press down and then roll it back and forth. You can see it just snapped off real quick. Um, and then the end, I want to get a, 
trying to get my sanding T. I want to clean that up and make it flat again. So I'm kind of rolling it between my fingers and then also um, doing a circular motion with the, with the um, sandpaper. And I've got some medium grit sandpaper. Um, it's about 220 grit. And do both ends of the tube. Also do the uh, little tube, that little piece right here, we're going to use that, so don't lose it. So again, go around in circles, make it flat. Both ends. And then I want you to take your hobby knife and poke it through the hole and scrape around on the inside of the tube. And do it on both ends for both of the pieces. That's one. There's the longer one. All right, so I did both pieces. Now I want to take the longer piece and I want to put it back through the hub. And I'm going to glue it in place, but I need it, I need everything to be perpendicular. So I'm going to take the graphite rod, slide it through the tube, and then I can spin it and I can see where I'm, I'm just looking straight down at it. I'm, and I want to make sure that it's all perpendicular. So I'm rotating it and I'm looking down on it. You want to get it as straight as you can. That's why the fit on that hole was pretty tight. And you can see I just have it poking through the bottom just a little bit. And that's how we want it. And when you get it nice and straight, take your super glue. And I got thin super glue, so whenever I use thin, I use goggles because I don't want it splashing in my eyes. And I'm just going to put a little drop just to fix it in place. Just like that. All right. Now, these little little rectangles that we uh, that were on the, uh, the the plywood sheet. I've gone ahead and removed those and I want to glue those on the bottom between the post and the little slot right there because that's where it can get kind of spongy. So and it doesn't matter it doesn't matter if you lay them flat or you stand them upright. If you stand them upright it's going to be a little stiffer but it's a little harder to do it that way. So I'm going to just lay them flat so that you can see it. So you can see I, I'm lying it just along there. And when I get it to where I want it, then I come back with just a drop of glue to hold it in place. You can see it just wicked right underneath. And I'll just do the other two. And you got a spare there in case you drop one on the floor. See, I'm, I'm putting the drop of glue just off to the side and just letting um, the capillary action take it underneath because I don't want to I don't want to touch it with the uh, the tip of the glue bottle because then it would slide around and then it's a mess. Oh man, look at that one! That one, the little capillary action already attached itself to the to the little piece so that was a little bit off but that's okay so that's good um, and if you have some kicker you can go ahead and spray it <coughs> kicker that's what I call accelerator um, insta set uh, but you this makes the super glue harden even faster all right just like that and this other little piece I didn't need so I'm going to throw it away. Now the little 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 tiny disc that's going to be put onto that little post as well on the long side and we want it 
This one's a little tight too. We want it about one quarter inch, and the length is not critical, but it's like, but I'm I'm shooting for one quarter inch off of the, the plate. And I'm just gonna drop a little drop of CA glue on that as well. All right, just wicking up any excess, just like that. Now the posts are gonna go into the slots right here. And these slots I purposely made tight because we don't want we don't want the uh, post to swing back and forth. We only want it to swing up and down. So right now they're tight. And the first thing you'll need to do is to is to customize the fit so that the the, the post just slides just ever so nicely in there. So I'll take a piece of sandpaper and I've, I've folded it in half, and I'm just going to slide it through that slot. and sand back and forth. And you're going to need to do this for all three of the slots. Try to be gentle so you don't accidentally snap it off. If you snap it off, it's, it's not the end of the world. You can just glue it back on. Okay, so that now right now I can feel the outside feels pretty good, but it's still kind of tight on the inside. So I got to get it the same fit all the way across. a really nice fit. See, it's 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 uh, stiff enough to hold the blade, but it doesn't take any effort to slide it back and forth. So that's the kind of fit that I'm looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and do these other two, um, and then I'll be coming right back.